Imagine walking into an office on Wall Street. It's 5 a.m. While the city sleeps, a small group of mathematical wizards are already reshaping the financial landscape through lines of code. By the time traditional traders have their first coffee, these quantitative geniuses have made millions. Welcome to the world of quantitative finance, where mathematics meets money and algorithms determines fortunes. I am Kulip and today I am going to show you how to break into one of the most intellectually challenging and financially rewarding careers on the planet. First, let me ask you something. Have you ever wondered what it would feel like to solve the market's most complex puzzles? To create algorithm that can predict movements other can't see? To be part of an elite group that's revolutionizing finance? If that sounds like your calling, then you are in the right place. But I'll be honest with you, the path isn't easy. It's not for everyone. And that's exactly why it's worth it. Before we dive into the how, let's address the why. Why quantitative finance in 2025? The financial rewards are undeniable. Entry-level quants can earn upwards of 150,000, with experienced professionals easily surpassing half a million annually. But that's just the beginning. What you are really signing up for is the intellectual challenge. The thrill of creating something that can outsmart the market. Even it's just for the milliseconds. That feeling when your model works. There is nothing quite like it. But here's the hard truth no one tells you. For every successful quant, dozens didn't make it. The rejection letters, the grueling interviews where you expected to solve complex problems on the spot. The sleepless nights debugging code. So what separates those who make it from those who don't? That's what the video is really about. By the end, you will have a clear roadmap for 2025. Not just what to learn, but how to think. Let's start with understanding the battlefield. The quantitative finance world isn't monolithic. Think of it as three interconnected kingdoms, each requiring its own specialized skills and mindset, right? So we can divide this into three parts right so the first will be quant developers in short i can write quant devs right the second would be quant traders so i'll just write traders and the third will be quant researchers right so these are the broad categorization right so first we have the quant developers the architects who build the financial fortress these are the coding maestros who transform mathematical theories into powerful systems that can execute thousands of trades per second, right? So, in 2025, the essential language remain Python for rapid prototyping and C++ for performance critical components. But it's not just about knowing the syntax, it's the understanding the underlying systems at a fundamental level, right? So, we can say mainly we have the uh, python uh, c++ right and also let's say if you are more into the uh, data science field uh, right so it can be r also but i know there are so many other language also which are being used in the quant field but mainly you start with these language right so you can just start with the python also right just start with python and along the way uh, depends on your role that uh, you might need c plus plus or r right so but you just have to start that's it okay so now in the quant devs there can be multiple roles right uh, in this the python developer role the c plus plus developer role or even the operational engineers the ones who manage the infrastructure of the company right so in infra uh, we have let's say the the system the servers right so we have the servers well, then we have the uh, network and we also have the databases 
right so there are multiple roles in these also the system admin the linux admin the cloud admin right and when it comes to the network it could have the network admins those who manage the firewalls and those who even lay the cables so those are uh, all included in the and network engineers and when it comes to the db so these are the simple dbas right so yeah we can divide this uh, quant devs into the multiple roles and there are multiple opportunities for every kind of uh, it field right in this uh, quant devs next we have quant traders these are the battlefield commanders who execute strategies and make split second decisions that can result in millions gained or lost this role demands not just mathematical prowess particularly in options pricing stochastic calculus and probability theory right but it is also the psychological fortitude to remain calm when millions are on the line right so you can say you should be having a very good understanding of uh, the uh, options if you are in that company so let's say you should be having some good knowledge of options right then stochastic and also the probability theory i have explained the whole uh, syllabus in my uh, 100 days series so you can start with that it is definitely very helpful you will get an initial you know push to how to get into this because the videos i have created are very very simple and even if you want a little bit more then you can refer the book struggling to start with algorithmic trading feeling overwhelmed by complex code and math my book Practical Python for Effective Algorithmic Trading changes everything. Written in plain English with step-by-step -step examples, it takes you from absolute beginner to building your first trading algorithms without the confusion. No prior experience needed. No complicated math. Just clear, actionable guidance that actually works. And if you want, you can also refer this awesome book, right? It is for absolute beginners, right? You can see this is Practical Python for Effective Algorithmic Trading. It's very, very basic. And in each chapter, we have two projects. So it will give you at least a starting a beginner push. Definitely, you should go through. First, you should go through the free videos. These are completely free, the videos. First, you go through that. And if you think that, yeah, it is good for you, you are able to understand, then you should buy this book. Or if you want, you can, you know, you can uh, run along with the videos because in this book, you will be having multiple projects, which will definitely, you know, boost your planning, your strategy into a very good way. So you can start with this. So the difference between good and great quant traders is an intelligence. It's emotional discipline. Can you stick to your model when every instinct is screaming to deviate? That's the test. And the Bible for aspiring con traders remains the option volatility and pricing by Sheldon Nettenberg. I have explained so many videos of this book in the series 100 days. You can just go to the playlist and in very detailed manner, right? It's very beginner friendly. And I try to explain as possible as and you will definitely find it very helpful, right? And also, uh, you can join our community so where you will find the like-minded people you can uh, even ask questions and even we have two group calls in the weekends one is on saturday and another is on sunday so you can click on the link below it's completely free and but you will find a lot of resources the whole hundred is the series on youtube you will find in the school community which is the the name is the quantitative just you can click on link quantitative wow elite right it's very important and we will build this community in a very very big and very useful community for all the quants right we'll be having so many uh, guests on this we'll be having so many interviews and you will find a lot of resources so it's definitely highly recommended right and it's completely free by the way okay now if you want to stand out you have to develop a trading strategy back tested against historical data but with a twist include regime switching models that adapt to changing market conditions document your thought process including the psychological factors that influenced your design decisions right finally we have quant researchers the scientific pioneers who develop the mathematical models that drive everything else these are often phds 
with deep mathematical knowledge who can spot inefficiencies others miss linear algebra multivariable calculus time series analysis these are just the entry tickets and for your kind information i have explained the linear algebra very well very beginner friendly this multivariable calculus i have explained and also the time series analysis you can find in this 100 days series and it will be definitely very good start point for anyone uh, even if you are a beginner it will really help you and the first thing will be you just go and watch these videos don't need to write anything just watch in one go let's say you can just give a one week and watch all the videos okay and if you want i have segregated all these videos into different different courses free courses into the this school community right you will when you go here in the classroom section you will find all these sections and you just watch all those sections without any you know tension don't take stress just watch the videos and take a feel if you really think that these are for you then you boost your learning with this book right because it is very beginner friendly and it does have two projects in each chapter and it will definitely help you a lot definitely if you are able to you know understand these videos and this book then you should take the next path and by the time you complete these two uh, things the series and the book you will be at a very very higher level and you will feel so confident for sure right and there is a very famous quote when it comes to the quant researchers that the mathematics gets you in the door but creativity keeps you employed we are not looking for human calculators we are looking for people who see patterns that others don't in 2025 machine learning and ai continue to transform this role but the fundamentals remains the same can you formulate a hypothesis test this rigorously and translate mathematical insights into profitable strategies and in this series you will find everything right and i would say that it is just your a basic strong foundational stone right so start with the free resources and then if you find you can switch to the daily required things right and uh, one more thing that just complete in this book we have 11 chapters and from chapter 3 to 11 like nine chapters we have two projects in each chapter so total 18 projects and i will be completing this 100 day series with the last uh, 18 video with these projects so that we can brush up all our previous concepts and you will learn a lot of new things and in that way i am planning to conclude this 100 day series right so just join this community and you can even chat with me directly i i am very active on this and actually i have closed all the other social media platforms and i just want to focus on one community because you know it's it's very very frustrating to you know uh, manage all other like the telegram the whatsapp so what i did i just have this one community and here you have everything the message the notifications the courses the resources and everything the meetings calls and everything so it's very good for uh, all of us it's actually very time saving for me and for you as well right so now uh, let me quickly uh, give you the concrete steps right so mm, let me remove it now let me quickly give you the concrete steps all right the road map concrete steps okay step 1 assess and build your foundation right assess and build your foundation right then so in this what you can do you can identify which quant path aligns with your strength and passions you have to audit your mathematical knowledge and fill gaps systematically then also you have to develop your programming proficiency so you can start with python you can start with python which i have explained very well and soon we are going to start with c++ and sql also you can just you know have a basic minimum knowledge of sql but you should have right then you have to build the financial market understanding through both theory and practice so for this also you can join our community we will be discussing almost every day right now in the step 2 what you can do you have to create your edge you know this is the most important thing i would say create your edge you know even in the trading if somebody have an edge they are always the winners so in this what you can do you can develop 
two three substantial projects that demonstrate your capabilities so for that what you can do you can refer to the book the practical python in this we have 18 projects right so in a way in a you know uh, in a step by step way so in chapter third we have very basic then up to fourth you will have very advanced projects and i'll be making the videos on all the projects soon like on all the 18 projects so out of those 18 projects you can just you know own your four to five projects and just build some advanced projects out of those things right you can even if you have like good understanding of these 18 then you can create your own four to five advanced projects right then you have to contribute to the open source quantitative libraries right so there are multiple libraries which i have shared previously also and i will share in the upcoming videos also right so contribute to the open source right then you have to consider specialized certifications like uh, you can go for cqf or advanced degree if appropriate you can go for the uh, ms right uh, in the uh, quant finance in ma mathematics or in even let's say data science uh, it's useful and if you have it's very good then you have to start trading with your own strategies even with minimum capital or even with the uh, paper trading so that's fine and for that we have the frac trade it's completely free and in our uh, school community we have a separate course for this completely free with all the resources right so you can go to the school community there now step three the most important break in yes just break in bro so in this you have to target internships aggressively even if you are not a student then you have to develop relationships with current quants through genuine connections right uh, you can search on linkedin you can search on let's say school community where you can find so many other quants and you can connect with them then you have to prepare for interviews with both technical practice and storytelling about your projects then consider adjacent roles let's say risk or data science as potential entry points right now uh, now last but not the least step four is embrace failure as data <laughs> nobody will tell you this but embrace your failure as a data right so in this what can happen every rejection is information right you will learn from every failure then every interview question you couldn't answer is a learning opportunity just go and learn that rigorously aggressively then every project that doesn't work is bringing you closer to one that will so embrace your failure then what i would say the quantitative finance world of 2025 is more competitive than ever but it's also more accessible to those who are willing to put in extra effort extra work right the next generation of quant leaders won't be from only the mit's or the stanford or the iit's they will be the self taught programmers who are obsessed with the financial markets the physics phd's who transitioned their modeling skills the creative thinkers who approach every problem from an unexpected angles so let me ask you are you willing to embrace the change to face rejection after rejection until you break through to continue learning and adapting in a field that never stands still if your answer is yes then you already have the most important quality every successful quants needs determination the algorithms are waiting to be written the inefficiencies are waiting to be discovered the models are waiting to be built if you found this roadmap valuable please hit that subscribe button for more insights into the quantitative field in the comments let me know which quant path interests you most and if you have any queries any doubts any problem just comment or just join our community where i'll personally answer your every query so until then bye bye take care have an awesome day i'll meet you in the next video or in the school community see you